Joining me now, Congressman Lloyd Doggett, Democrat from Texas, member of three House committees, Ways and Means, Budget, and Taxation. Welcome back, sir. It's nice to see you. Let's get into it here. As, um, as you know, there's no indication that the Attorney General will be releasing the full report or make that Tuesday deadline that's been set by six House committee chairmen. What can we expect then? Would that be subpoenas on Wednesday? Well, I think uh, it's time to take action. Uh, you know, we don't have the 400-page Mueller report. We have the four-page Barr report and a number of excuses and delay uh, brought again with his latest letter on Friday. Uh, I want to see the full report. I think it should be turned over to uh, the House uh, Intelligence Committee. And uh, if he's unwilling to make the full report available to the public, each word, each page, each paragraph that he blackens out, we ought to get a black uh, page. We ought to be able to see what he's deleted and the excuse that he is giving for each of those deletions or redactions. Hmm. Uh, the American people really can't form a final judgment on this until they hear more than President Trump's tweets and the uh, excuses from the Attorney General. York's uh, expectation, sir, of what you want to get, it goes even further in a new report in USA Today, which says the Democrats, they aren't going to stop until they get Mueller's grand jury testimony. Is that what you're hearing from your colleagues, that it is all or nothing? Well, I think uh, our position is a reasonable one, that we want to see the entire report if there is uh, an ongoing investigation that some part of that report would impair then that should be considered uh, perhaps in classified uh, session by the Intelligence Committee or the Judiciary Committee. But the entire report ultimately needs to come out. And yes, there is a procedure that exists to ask a judge to open the grand jury testimony. And again, if there is some portion of that testimony that would unfairly uh, infringe on the rights of an individual on the periphery of this investigation, that could be accepted. But I think some of that grand jury investigation does need to come out. We're not really even to that point yet because we don't have the base report itself. We just have excuses, delays, and uh, President Trump's uh, tweets and campaign rallies. They seem to, instead of transparency, they seem to want to make the report largely invisible. 